We're going to get started programming a micro bit with a little simple program. We're just going to read the temperature and have it display the temperature to us. So we are at the makecode.microbit.org website. And I already have a bunch of programs here that I've been playing with over the past you know, while. What you're going to want to do is just start a new project. And you have a choice of doing it in JavaScript or in blocks. I haven't learned JavaScript yet, so I'm just playing with blocks. They give you they give you the beginning you know blocks, you know, on start on forever. You don't have to use those. You can get rid of those if you want to. So you know, scroll through and click on these block labels over here to uh, see what they kind of do and to use a block you just click on it and it goes in and then you gotta you see they kind of drop in and they only set in certain ways so if you want to delete one you just pull it out and drag it left that works so here's what we want to do we want to make our Micro bit. Another thing I love about Make Code is I got this little emulator here. So you actually see what it does. Um, so we want to have this read the temperature for us. Now we got to find uh, first. I love throwing something up on um, on start just so I can know that the program is running. I, you know, I haven't messed that kind of part up. So I'll just throw, drop an icon on there. They have multiple icons you can do or. Um, you can, as you notice, there's show LEDs. You could just put that up and put a dot in one. Um, show a string, whatever you wish. I just like it to show that program's running. Now we're going to in the forever loop. And again, this is this is going to run forever. I want to show the temperature. So I've got to go find a show, show number. All right. Now that number is temperature, so I've got to actually find a temperature thing here. Oh, here we go. Here's the temperature in the input. Temperature in C. Um, oh my gosh, I just thought something. How do I change that to Fahrenheit? I don't remember. Um, <laughs> there, it probably is in settings. Oh my gosh, I just did this to myself, didn't I? Eh, that's not going to be it. All right. So I'll have to find that out later. Um, show number in C. Um, drop it in, and it's notice how the emulator changed colors. It went gray. It was updating. Um, the emulator is always going to just pick a number, so I can boom raise the temperature. It's going to say it's twenty nine degrees. Um, but what you might want to do is to put a little pause here. Uh, pause is a basic thing. I want to pause that because I don't want those numbers to just keep running, running, running. Um, I want to show a number. Give me a give me a moment. Show my number. You know, give me a moment kind of thing. And it's in a forever loop, so it's going to keep doing that as long as you got power to it. Now we could have put it like on button press. We could have had it do show the number when we press the button. We instead of just always showing it, we could have used a variable and assigned the temperature to the variable and then shown the variable, which really doesn't make sense to me because it's just an extra um, bit of thing. Now, how do we do something with this? Well, let's title it. Um, so come down here to the bottom, title it, and I'll hit save, and it's downloading. So I could have hit download, I could have hit save either. Um, it downloading it, it's downloading it to the downloads folder on my, on my MacBook. You need to know where it's downloading to Chromebook. You we have to set up where it's going to send things to in the Chromebook. Uh, Windows is just send it to a downloads folder. Now what to do? Well. Now we need to plug in our micro bit. So let's plug in the micro bit. And the micro bit should pop up here in a moment on the desktop. There's the micro bit. And then we need to go to the downloads folder. So go to downloads. 
And here we go. Here's a microbit dash temp three hex. This is another hex file here because I've been playing with this um, recently. I did just delete like a hundred hex files. Um, so I got to drag and drop that onto the microbit. It's going to load the hex file to the microbit. And then, you know, look at your microbit now. Um, it should be running the program.